why are the insurance companies not under the antitrust laws? Mm. You want to take credit for that, Chris? <laughs> What's your opinion of the role that the pharmaceutical industry is playing in this issue? And my question is, if, if the public plan, if it survives, will it do the job? How will it be fought and sabotaged once it's legislated into effect? How will they avoid taking responsibility for it by health insurers and by the right-wingers who have been allying with the health insurers? Uh, despite the, uh, the, uh, the despite the the protests from the insurance industry that they're already regulated enough, they're, they're, they're not nearly regulated enough, uh, uh, they uh, have been able to uh, consolidate to the point that the industry is now dominated by seven very large for-profit health insurance companies. One out of every three of us uh, is enrolled in some kind of health benefit plan by, uh, by one of those seven. They're WellPoint, United, Aetna, Cigna, HealthNet, Humana, and Coventry, and uh, uh, together more than 100 million people are in their, their benefit plans. I call it a cartel because uh, they, they really, they've, uh, they've either forced smaller competitors out of business or they've bought them. So we have far, far, far less choice among insurers than we had a few years ago. Uh, there are far fewer nonprofit health plans than there used to be. A lot of them have uh, converted to for-profit 